Hey everybody, so we got done with the first day, took the lift back, and today we're gonna be climbing. So uh, I didn't do a ton of filming yesterday just because uh, it's lift work, it's not that exciting, and um, I, I like the, I, I focus on I like to focus on the climbing. Wow, stuttery. Um, but so what we got left here is what you see here. We got a big lead off of here, got a big lead off of here. Strip this out here. Um, by where we had the lift set up, we couldn't take the top out without without swinging into the boom. Um, I don't have a ton of experience uh, working with bucket trucks or lifts, so you know maybe that was due to lack of foresight on my part, or maybe you know it, there was something that could have been done better. I don't know, but either way, we're gonna get this whole tree wrecked out hopefully today. Um, like to see all the brush in the ground and just some big wood standing there. So I've got my climbing rope in the tree and uh i'm gonna hop up there and i think we're gonna probably start working over the garage here so stay tuned and uh hope you enjoy the ride all right so we got our first limb all tied up here we got quite a maze of things going on um we're over the garage so we don't want to just butt tied it won't fit uh so what we're gonna do is we've got our half inch line tied out on to the end of it out there and it goes all the way up to a block in that spar and if we were just to swing it there we would definitely crash the house so we have another rigging rope that's going to be run by another groundman uh that's redirected throughout the tree here um it's going to keep the limb over here so uh we're going to cut a notch on this side so that it'll allow the, the branch to swing down and uh, this rope will keep it here and it's going to be going to be quite dramatic but it's going to go all to plan and be intentional which is what counts That was perfect. Everybody ready? Nice. Hey, I got it right. There we go. Um, are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I would have never done that. Oh, dang it. Uh, just a dead limb fell over and caught the corner of the garage. <laughs> Alrighty gang, so what we got here, I don't know why I always do this, it's my thing. Um, what we got here is we've got a redirect for our yellow rigging rope, we've got uh, that half inch rigging rope going up to a block over there, if you can see it beside the sun. And then it goes down to two friction devices below. Um, we're going to cut this off. They're going to let the yellow rope run pretty good to get away from me. And it's going to swing towards the house. This is definitely going to be a ground man's game. And I'm just going to cut the branch off. But we'll see how it goes. I think it'll go pretty good. I have good faith. Ready? Well, I didn't get smacked, but I was a wee bit concerned for a moment. <laughs> yeah, rightfully so. It's, uh, two wraps was too much, I guess. That's okay. That's fine. It's probably because the rings up here is a little bit more than you expected, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, the other one supporting it a little bit, too, might, might have something to do with it. Yeah, for sure. You're not taking full-on full on brute weight. That's 
my bad. The pressure was on and I failed. It's okay. We'll give you a pass. At least it didn't go down there and swing into the house, you know? That was our, our main concern. Yeah. Dang it. I knew I should have gone less. I was concerned about it too. Like being too much. Well, now we'll see. Now you know for the last one. Maybe, uh, maybe you don't say it's a ground man's game and then I fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will, I'll do my best to, uh, to, get, to keep your name out of it, I guess. We'll say Al did it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I usually blame him for most things. All right, here we're going to do We're going to do it again. And, uh, this one's got some dead tops in it, so we'll see how that holds on. Doesn't look like they've been dead too long. They've got their tips on them still. Here we go. <laughs> Send this with a handsaw. There she's close. You ready, Bo? Yep. Here it comes. Nice. Alrighty. Dead top. One of them did break off, but it fell in a safe space. That was excellent. Absolutely redeemed yourself. I have to give you a raise now. Okay, so we decided we wanted to switch out our half-inch rope over there for our uh, for another 5 8 rope. So Bo tied them on together with a piece of throw line. He's going to pull them through that three-quarter inch block up there. Hope you can see that going up, 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 over, down, 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 down. Self set up. Uh, we got our lantern over these rings in case they want to take a shot down the tree. Look, it's stuck on that stub, so they won't wipe out my feet. But our notch is right here. We're gonna send it that way and kind of let it, uh, what's that called? Pendulum action a little bit, I think I've heard that called before. But um, same principles last time. Got, got two big ropes this time. Good. different ring sling here for the next one. Oh yeah I see that what are you talking about now <laughs> it just it was very fluid it moved around I didn't feel super confident in it I love these double ring slings but they do have their limitations what is, could you do you have a nice big ring on an ultra sling A little whooping on that spar up there. That's okay. This sling almost came off of this stub. I should have set it lower. Tisk tisk. That's okay. It's a learning opportunity, right? By the math, that log was 900 pounds. Which means that that rigging point up there received probably between 16 and 1700 pounds of force mathematically in an ideal world it would be exactly twice it'd be 1800 pounds but there's actually a little bit of frictional inefficiencies in a block and so it reduces it by just a little bit well yes i guess initially the shock load would have been shared too but when it was hanging straight over there so if anybody wants to donate a nice enforcer to this uh channel will tell you what they actually weigh i would love to have one but i just can't quite shell out a thousand bucks or whatever they are for a high high precision piece of equipment that i'm gonna slam into trees all the time all right real quick what i want to explain to youtube here is that what we're gonna do is we've got a rigging rope going up to the block there we've cut a notch on the up the uphill side of the limb we're gonna make a back cut we're gonna use the grcs to stand this piece up Maybe even to get over center, and then because there's not going to be that much movement to that, to do that, I'll probably have to cut this, cut this hinge to get it to come off of there. Anyhow, that'll be very uh, dynamic free. It'll be a pretty static rig, and then we'll just lower it right down there, and we'll let the ground crew deal with it from there. Uh, this log is probably going to be playing with the thousand or eleven hundred pound mark, um, which means we'll be putting about two thousand pounds of force up there 
on our our rigging point way up there if you can see it so <laughs> I'll give it some more. Oh boy. Alrighty, she's off. Didn't have to do any cutting. We had just a little bit of hinge wood there. So you can go ahead and lower that down nice and gently. Okay, and come down gently. Let me swing it out of the way of that limb so we don't have to worry about missing the garage. There you go. Nicely done. So the last one we did was we the, the rigging line, we stopped cranking on it just a smidge early and so it came off the cut and then fell on the rope. Um, wasn't the end of the world, but we wanted to kind of avoid that to uh, reduce our stress on the rigging system. So we put a little bit more pretension on it and we're gonna have some more follow through with our cranking on this rig and uh, it should go just fine. <laughs> Yeah, I cut about a third of the hinge off on accident, but it will function just fine. It's important to note too that whenever you make your notch on an upward swinging piece, you need to point the notch straight at the rope. Um, for most scenarios, I mean, there's always exceptions to every rule, but that is the standard method of doing things here. That way you're not putting sideways pressure on the notch. Okay, you ready down there? Yep. Okay, go ahead and crank and don't stop. Stop, stop. So the reason I had him stop there is because the hinge didn't break off all the way. And we don't want to put extra stress on things by trying to stretch those fibers out of there because that's not going to work anyway. <laughs> how it jumped off of there a little bit that means we probably end up putting more stress on the system than we had to the sister system clearly tolerated it but there's no reason to put more load on things if necessary so that was a good rig Bo thank you no problem we got negative rigs these tops out we're gonna start with the smallest one first we're up here a good ways it's not a terrible spar except for it's got some hollow stuff down there so we're not gonna do anything crazy uh, just for fear of dying. We did rig a 900 pound piece off this spar earlier, so we know it's good to go, but there's no reason to abuse it. Nice run. about the right friction for you yeah that's perfect all, all I do is have I just like have it around it a little bit it's not even wrapped sweet that's pretty good Okay, we got our cut here, block here, and this is a pretty big piece to be negative. We got to point away from the house a little bit. Should be interesting. Look at Al telling Bo how to do it. <laughs> yeah, this one's a reduced weight log. It ain't got a center to it.
You know what hit the awning? What? A squirrel. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I got it all on camera. Squirrel mansion. Like I said, reduced weight log. Two doors even. <laughs> So we got ourselves a GRCS down there wrapped full up to a block in the top all the way over down here to two spider legs and to the tops of this branch. So I'm going to make a top notch down here and we're going to fold this branch up and then let it down. So the tricky part here is it's going to be a little bit dynamic since we're not against a tree but we don't have enough vertical height to fold the whole limb up at once. Okay, it's sitting there with a good amount of pretension on it. We're gonna take a little swing. We're gonna come back behind this thing so we have a nice view for watching. Actually, we're gonna go up a little bit because that butt's gonna come back and wanna hit us in the face. We don't want that. Okay, Bo, go ahead. We're going to just conventionally rig this limb down here. Nice. Well, we definitely used all the space on that one. Uh, there's space to let it run just a little bit if you like.
I forgot to record or push the record button for this top. I'm so sorry. It made it down there just fine. Bo did an expert rigging job. I cut it up nice and short and pushed it off. But anyhow, from here on out, it's just going to be chunking down some wood. We'll get the, a clear spot on the ground and we'll just be sending bombs. My goodness. Yeah, it was terrible. What is that? Should be in the passenger side floorboard. There you go, I stacked the wood for you. Good morning, you two. I am not your usual host, as you can tell. Old Zach couldn't be with us today. He was here for day one and two. This is day three. This big old silver maple. We're gonna get her on the ground today. This is all that Zach left us with. Got all this wood to move. We're gonna redirect it out there. Hook it up to skid steer. Pull her up. Bring you guys along the ride.
anyone's ever looking for an awesome axe, Jeff Schroeder. I think his Instagram is Jeff Schroeder 1982, something like that. This is an old vintage Collins, 28 inch hickory. And he hand selects these, or he actually is making them now too, but very happy with this. <laughs> Exactly, but it'll do. 